guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya, and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And to my returning subscribers, you know I love you so much. So what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to try to do a DIY. Um, my thumb still sticks a little bit and so do my middle fingers. So we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, but I'm really excited. We're going to do one of our ornaments, okay? So let me flip this down and we'll get started with this Christmas ornament DIY for 2021. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm taking a Dollar Tree ornament that I picked up and it's just a white one and we are going to be making a very high-end looking Christmas ornament using a Dollar Tree um, find, okay? And I'm going to set it in some tape so that I can manage the ornament much better. It's just some masking tape. Now you're going to want to take that top off and then we're going i was looking for a brush that would fit up in there nicely and i think this one will work and that just gives you better control and you can move it around the tighter the brush the better now i picked up these rice papers i ordered them online and i ordered several of them and i'll put a link in the description box they're from decoupagenapkins.com okay and I'm sorry I have that hanging upside down. I don't know where my mind was. <laughs> but anyway, so, and then I picked this circle up, a bunch of circles at Hobby Lobby. And it helps you gauge and get you a perfect circle uh, to cut your rice paper out with. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just putting that over the rice paper image that I want. And then you're going to need a pencil. I used a pen and I wish I hadn't used this one because when you get it wet, it does uh, sort of fade a little bit, but it didn't hurt anything, but I would highly recommend a pencil. And then just cut around, leave yourself some space because we're going to wet it and tear it in a minute. Now I just have some clean water and I'm dipping a brush in it and you do need to take quite a bit of water um, to get that to tear. So I had to go over it several times and then when you get the right amount, it just tears so nicely and it helps give you those beautiful uneven edges that just seamlessly go on there and that's what you want. So after you get it really wet, then I'm just going to tear it with my fingers. Just be gentle, it is rice paper. Um, and you can see right here, it's starting to tear. And that's exactly what we want. Now I had to add some more water because it took me quite a bit, but you better, you know, you're better off to go slow and put a little and not drown it. And you can see where that ink bled through just a little bit, but it really didn't hurt anything. I'm glad I did not use a red. <laughs> that wouldn't have been very good. But I would definitely use a pencil, and from now on I will. Or maybe a gel marker in white, something like that would probably be all right. Okay, so there is our image that we want. And I'm just looking how it's going to look. So I'm going to set the image aside and the water aside for now. And I'm going to be using some gesso, white gesso. Um, I have that linked in my Amazon store in the description box, but you can pick it up anywhere. And you just want to prime this ornament. Even though it is white, you want to go ahead and prime it so you get good adhesion. So that's all I'm doing here is just priming the ornament. And you want to put a thin coat all over your ornament. And you can see that brush helps you to hold uh, the ornament much better. I wish my brush had been a little tighter. Thank you. 
Okay, now after I dried that with a hair dryer, I'm taking some white acrylic paint by Apple Barrel. It doesn't matter the brand. And I'm going to put, and I'm upside down again. <laughs> I'm going, you would think I had never done this before. Um, I'm going to take a, a brush and just put a nice uh, light coat, but you want it to be totally filled in of the white acrylic paint all over the ornament and then I dried it with a hair dryer okay and I was going to use that little leaf but I decided not to now I'm going to take my Mod Podge that's matte and I'm going to paint I'm going to decoupage that um, nativity scene on there okay And I was checking to make sure that I had it right where I wanted it. You could use that circle to draw uh, that I had earlier and take a pencil and draw you a circle and then Mod Podge that inside of it if you think you might have problems. But I just eyeballed it. Now here you want to tear several areas of your rice paper so it will go down nicely. And I ended up cutting it as well and then I go back and add some more slits because you're, you're trying to get it to go around a round object and uh, by cutting it, it makes it not pucker as much. Okay, now I'm going to start applying my Mod Podge and I'm just using the matte. You could use gloss if you wanted. I just had the matte, so that's what I'm using. Okay, and we're just going to put this right there and you want to start from like the inside and work your way out and down and around and you'll see here um, I'm going to apply some more Mod Podge at the bottom and I'm believe yes I ended up cutting that because it was um, starting to pucker so if you have a problem just lift it up before it all gets adhered and just put make a little slit or a tear I need sharper scissors I thought those were pretty sharp but they're kind of dull so just keep putting your Mod Podge down and applying your rice paper And you can see how dull those scissors are. So I just decided to tear it. But if you just go around, take your time and work in sections, it'll come out really nicely. This is a very easy way to make an upscale ornament using Dollar Tree items. And it's so customizable too, I love that. Okay, then I noticed that I had a little bit too much slack there, so I just made a snip and you'll never know that I did that. Okay, now we're just going to put some Mod Podge all over the top, working from the center out, light strokes. If you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you would subscribe and definitely give it a thumbs up so I'll know you like these kinds of videos. I'm having so much fun making these ornaments and this is just the first of some of our ornaments we're going to make. Now I'm just smoothing it out with my hand and applying some more Mod Podge. And baby wipes are a must when you do this to keep your hands uh, as clean as you can. 
and that's what we're getting so far. I think it's really looking pretty. You really wouldn't have to do anything else. You could stop right there. Now I have these different color um, acrylic paints. I have Ocean Cruise and I have, bah I think it's Ocean View, Bahama Blue, and French Blue, and I'll link them in the description box below. That's the Ocean View, the French Blue, Bahama Blue, and the Ocean Cruise, okay? And I was going to try to match the colors that were in the nativity scene, so I just started sort of mixing. It's totally up to you what you want to do. You could make this look like snow all around if you wanted. Now I have a big dauber. I picked these up at um, Walmart, I think, and I'm just going to go around and come right around and blend that in all over the ornament. Then I decided to use some more of this ocean view because I really liked it. And if you use that little um, brush, it really does help you handle the ornament much better. And just go right up, right even onto the rice paper. And that helps it seamlessly just become part of the ornament. Now I'm switching to a smaller dauber to get up around that neck and eventually I'll use a brush right around the very top. But isn't that turning out so pretty already. Okay, now I'm going to take that brush and just get around that little neck there in areas that I missed. Now what I did is I went and dried it with a hair dryer, okay, and I have these little molds that I picked up at Amazon, on Amazon, and I'll link them in the description box. I'm using my IOD air dry clay. You can use the Daz clay. I have that. I'll link that in my description box as well. The reason I use the IOD clay is because it's white and I thought it would be um, a little easier to paint over. I've used the Daz and painted over it and it works great too. But I had this and I thought I would go ahead and use it and I had it open. Matter of fact, I have both of them open. But I just decided to use this and these are just little silicone molds and I'm putting the clay in them. And then they just, uh, the little mold pops out and then you have your little image. And what I'm doing now is just cleaning up around the area. Um, if you're familiar with the IOD molds, they have that um, rim around it, micro rim, which makes things come off real easy. Well, this doesn't have it. So sometimes you have to go in and clean it up a little bit, but that's not a big a deal. And then look how this is going to look. I wanted to put 
one on the left and one on the right and I think this is it's really going to be beautiful and I did not use any cornstarch in my molds at all this time I do with the IOD but I did not with this And I'm still cleaning up in places, but it's really easy to do, like I said. Okay, now I'm going to paint them with that white apple barrel acrylic paint. You can paint them any color you want, but I just wanted to make them white. And you can see the difference once you paint them. They're much more white. Okay, now I have my Tight Bond Original Wood Glue, and I'll link that in the description box as well if you're interested. And I'm just going to adhere, adhere this to uh, the ornament with that glue. I love it. It works very well with the molds or anything like that. If you're using anything really slippery, I would use the one with the blue label. I have it as well, but this one worked great. Okay, now I'm just putting this around the top. To me, it almost looked like angel wings surrounding. And I'm just, you can just put that on with a brush, a popsicle stick. I just use my fingers. And I decided to overlap that. And I'm glad that I did. I think it's so cute. Now, when you do do molds, make sure you press down around all the edges nicely. So it adheres really well to the ornament. Okay, and that is what we're getting so far. So I'm looking at it to see what I think. And I like it. Looks like it's adhered pretty well all the way around. I needed to take care of a couple spots. Okay, now I have my Classics Elements mold from IOD. And I'm going to be using that little... Um, almost like a chain mold there and I made two of those and I didn't use cornstarch on that either and it came right out and you can see what my idea is I, <laughs> this is so much fun oh my goodness so here I am working on my second one Time just passes by so quickly when you do crafts like this and to have Christmas carols playing in the background, it really puts you in a wonderful mood. Okay, and I'm going to paint this with that white acrylic paint as well. And I took about, oh, two coats to get these. All this is totally optional. You wouldn't have to do it. Okay, now I'm using my tight bond wood glue again. And you can see I'm just putting it down the side. What a beautiful little embellishment this is. It's totally taking that Dollar Tree ornament and upscaling it. These DIY ornaments are going to be so much fun and so pretty. And they're very easy to make. It's a easy little craft for Christmas. You could even give these away if you want. And now I'm taking my um, putty knife, not my putty knife, my, um, I can't remember what that's called, palette knife. And I just cut that off so that it would fit. And I'm lining everything up nicely where it needs to go. And 
and there's the back. You could also embellish that back if you wanted to. I just didn't want to this time. Now I'm taking the Liquitex Basics Acrylic Gloss Varnish. And we're going to be putting varnish over our rice paper so it'll look really shiny. And it will also seal it in. And I did not notice an odor with this um, varnish at all. And I'm very sensitive to smells. And I didn't notice anything. Okay. So there that is. Just look how that brought that rice paper to life. So beautiful. Okay, now I couldn't believe it, but I didn't have any gray paint. So I'm using this Tulip Metallic uh, pen, and I just squirted it out on my paper, on my uh, plate, and I'm using it to paint with. <laughs> I'm a mess, what can I say? But I put that on, and then I put this iridescent glitter from Walmart. I'll link as much as I can in the description box below. And then I decided that I would go paint the edging with that silver, okay? And then I was like, I liked it, but I felt it was getting a little dark. So I'm going to do something else here in a minute. I think it's very pretty like that. And it does look cold, but I'm going into some of that blue. And just a little bit will do it. And I'm just putting it right on there to tie in that blue to it. And I like this. I think it gives it um, a much nicer look. And I didn't want it all painted. That's why I left some of that white to look snowy and cold. So now I'm painting this and I got a little bit too much of the blue on there and then I'm sprinkling, sprinkling glitter on there while the paint's wet. I always do that. And so then I decided that that was a little too dark so I dipped my brush in some water and you can see it toned it down totally. So I love that. And now I'm going back with my gloss varnish. And this time we're going to put it all over the ornament, the clay and everything. And I'm going to put it back over the rice paper again. It gives, gives it such a wonderful shine. If you didn't want the high gloss, I did. You could get a satin. Uh, that would be pretty as well. Or you could leave it alone. But like I said, this seals it and protects it. Plus it makes it really pretty. And then while the varnish is wet, you know me, I love glitter. So I'm taking my iridescent glitter and sprinkling all over again. I just love it. And then I painted the little top with the white paint and then I sprinkled the iridescent glitter on that. Now I thought that I would have some beautiful silver ribbon or wider white ribbon and I didn't. I couldn't believe it. So I'm using this and I think it's fine. I was going to do a bow on the front but it's okay. This is just fine for this one. And then I'm just uh, cutting those little ends off a little bit and that's how I'm going to hang it but I love this it turned out so beautiful it is a gorgeous upscale look to a Dollar Tree ornament so let me show you up close on the Christmas tree what it looks like well here it is I think it is so adorable I didn't have any of my good ribbon I thought I did I can't believe it but I didn't, so I just put this on, but I think it's really cute, but it just looks so cold. But this is one of our first little ornaments. You would never believe that that was a Dollar Tree ornament for a dollar. 
Let me hang it up here and we'll take a look at it. I just think that is so precious and um, it's so easy to make and you could customize it to any color. I'm going to put this in my living room and it is done in grays and blues and whites and silvers. But I just think it looks very cold, very frosty, and I love that decoupage paper and I'll link it in the description box below. But it's so easy to make a really cute ornament and if you would see that out, oh, you pay a lot of money for that. And then I, I'm pretty sure I filmed it. All I did was paint that white paint, that little top, and then just put that iridescent glitter and I love it. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby and she was on the couch with Mama. Mama came down. Did Mama come down to see you? Yes. And she's been glued to Mom all day. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for a wonderful Dollar Tree Christmas haul. And then on Friday, depending on how my hands do, that was a lot of work. I may rest it and do a decorate with me for Christmas in my kitchen. And if I do that, then definitely on Tuesday, we'll make another ornament. So until next time, bye guys.